the possibility of alternative biochemistries for life forms is a topic of ongoing scientific discussion and a common theme in science fiction. While all known living organisms on Earth use carbon compounds, water, and DNA or RNA, it is possible that extraterrestrial life may have entirely different chemistries. Several hypothetical types of biochemistry have been proposed that are scientifically viable but not yet proven to exist, including silicon-based life and non-water solvents such as ammonia and hydrocarbons however, it is questionable whether these alternatives would truly be alien. Additionally, the idea of a shadow biosphere a microbial biosphere on Earth that uses radically different biochemical and molecular processes remains a possibility, as much of our exploration of the microbial world has focused on macroorganisms and their biochemistry. One potential alternative biochemistry involves differing chirality of biomolecules, although even this has been found in some basal organisms the search for alternative biochemistries is fueled by our understanding of extraterrestrial environments and chemical behavior, making it a vital subject for synthetic biology and a fascinating area for further exploration. Horowitz proposed that the carbon atom's versatility makes it the ideal element to tackle challenges of survival on planets. He was skeptical of the possibility of genetic information systems and non-carbon life forms. Although silicon has chemical properties similar to carbon, it lacks the versatility required for metabolism and is less susceptible to forming bonds with other atoms. Silicon also creates molecules that are monotonous compared to organic macromolecules while molecules incorporating polymers of alternating silicon and oxygen atoms, known as silicones, are more stable than silanes, they are not as abundant as carbon-based compounds in the interstellar medium. Based on the relative abundance of carbon to silicon in the cosmos, carbon remains the favored biochemical foundation for extraterrestrial life. The story explores the possibility of life forms based on elements other than carbon. Cairn Smith's theory suggests that silicate minerals played an essential role in abiogenesis by replicating their crystal structures, interacting with carbon compounds, and serving as precursors to carbon-based life. While carbon-silicon bonds are not naturally occurring, directed evolution has added them to biochemistry through the engineering of heme-containing cytochrome C proteins and the formation of new bonds between hydrosilanes and diazo compounds. Other elements, such as boron and sulfur, have also been considered for their potential in alternative biochemistry. Metal oxide-based life is a possibility under specific conditions, and the self-assembly of tungsten polyoxometallates has led to the creation of cell-like spheres with porous membranes arsenic, while toxic to many organisms, is incorporated into the biochemistry of some marine algae, fungi, and bacteria, highlighting the adaptability of life. The NASA scientists have failed to convince most experts about the existence of extraterrestrial life. Other authors have raised concerns about the study's phosphate contamination issue, suggesting that the organism could sustain extremophile life forms. Some researchers have proposed that the cells recycle phosphate from degraded ribosomes rather than replacing it with arsenate. The requirement of water as a solvent for life has been a subject of debate, and scientists have explored the possibility of alternatives such as ammonia, sulfuric acid, formamide, hydrocarbons, liquid nitrogen, or hydrogen in the form of a supercritical fluid. Carl Sagan was both a carbon and a water chauvinist, but he also speculated on other possible solvents such as hydrocarbons, hydrofluoric acid, and ammonia water possesses properties that are essential for life processes, such as complexity, thermodynamic stability, high solubility of oxygen and carbon dioxide, spectroscopic transparency, and a large heat of vaporization. The absence of these properties in alternative solvents severely limits evolution, making it highly unlikely that they could support aerobic life. Although water is crucial for life, some of its properties may not always be beneficial. During ice ages, the reflective ice that builds up over water raises the effects of global cooling due to water ice's high albedo. The right solvent must exist in a range of temperatures for a successful biosphere and be able to remain liquid at those temperatures. Ammonia is a potential alternative solvent for life since it has chemical similarities to water and can dissolve many organic molecules and elemental metals however, the hydrogen bonds between ammonia molecules are weak, and it is flammable in oxygen, which could not exist sustainably in an environment suitable for aerobic metabolism. Despite the unique properties of ammonia, 
it is still questionable if it could hold molecules together well enough to allow the emergence of a self-reproducing system. The article discusses the possibility of life existing on planets and moons outside of the water-based habitability zone, specifically focusing on the use of ammonia and hydrocarbons as potential solvents for life. Isaac Asimov, a biochemist and science fiction writer, proposed the idea of polylipids serving as a substitute for proteins in a nonpolar solvent such as methane. The debate around the effectiveness of hydrocarbons versus water as a solvent for life is explored, with the advantage of hydrocarbons being their lack of chemical reactivity and interference with internal hydrogen bonding in complex organic molecules astrobiologist Chris McKay suggests that if life exists on Titan's surface using hydrocarbons as a solvent, it is likely to use more complex hydrocarbons as an energy source. Possible evidence for this is identified in the presence of molecular hydrogen and low levels of acetylene on Titan's surface, which could be interpreted as consistent with the hypothesis of organisms reducing acetylene to methane however, McKay cautions that other physical or chemical processes could also explain these findings. The theme of this paragraph revolves around possible alternative solvents for life beyond water and their properties. While hydrogen fluoride has been considered a potential solvent due to its polarity and ability to dissolve ionic compounds, it is also dangerous to Earth-life molecules. Hydrogen sulfide is another option, but suffers from a limited temperature range like hydrogen cyanide and ammonia silica and silicate rocks may be viable options for organisms with a chemistry based on silicon, oxygen, and other elements. High-temperature liquids such as sodium chloride and sulfuric acid are also explored as potential solvents for life. Additionally, there is a suggestion that life on Mars may be using a mixture of water and hydrogen peroxide as its solvent overall. The paragraph provides insight into the various properties and limitations of different solvents that could support life in the universe. Photosynthesis is essential for most life on Earth, although green plants are not the only plants capable of conducting it. Physicists have suggested that other colored plants could also support photosynthesis, and in different mixes of stellar radiation than Earth, plants of various colors might be preferred. While blue plants are unlikely, yellow and red plants may be relatively common. Environmental conditions can lead to significant biochemical changes in Earth's plants and animals, allowing them to sustain life even in environments that are only periodically consistent with life as we know it. Evolution of life with different protein-like polymers as a basic structure would create a parallel biological world with radically different body plans and genetics from the living organisms of the known biosphere while scientists have proposed lifelike behaviors exhibited by dust particles in space, a rough sketch of a possible model of helical grain structure reproduction has been presented. The theme of the story revolves around the possibility of intelligent life existing on neutron stars. This idea was suggested by Frank Drake in 1973, with physical models indicating that these creatures would be microscopic. Robert L. Forward capitalized on this suggestion by using it as the central thesis of his science fiction novel Dragon's Egg in 1980. The story also introduces other scientists who have made significant contributions towards the search for extraterrestrial life, such as J.B.S. Haldane, Norman Horowitz, Peter Sneth, Gerald Feinberg, Robert Shapiro, and John Barris. One of Barris' notable contributions involved heading a committee of scientists under the U.S. National Research Council who published a report on the limiting conditions of life in 2007.